All right, am I live? I am live, I believe. Uh, yeah. So my computer wasn't working, everybody, so I'm on a, an iPad, and so I don't know if I can see your commentary or not. Uh, is that, a, is it, yeah, we'll figure it out here. Let's see, is this the comment button? No, I don't wanna write a comment. Okay, all right. Hey y'all, um, I'm gonna kill a few minutes here. My name is Drew Holcomb. I am from Nashville, Tennessee. I am a musician and I've been invited by the uh, Epilepsy Foundation in Washington to um, play some songs and uh, just uh, tell you I'm thrilled to be with you guys. I'm a little nervous that we haven't, this isn't working. Are we, uh, do you think, do you know? If, no, you're good. I'm good? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Still learning all the technical, uh, sort of new things about this new uh, era we're in of digital concerts. So thanks for having me in for one. Uh, I'm gonna start with a song and then we'll, uh, I'll share some stories and, and stuff like that. All right, this is a song called Another Man's Shoes. Rock and roll on the stereo, push the cruise control, disappear into the groove. Take the photograph, try to make it last, and the awkward light doesn't make it true. So we got Wisconsin checking in. We got Iowa checking in. Uh, good to be with you guys. Again, my name is Drew Holcomb. I am uh, honored to be sort of brought into the Epilepsy Foundation family. Um, I had a brother uh, with uh, spina bifida who, um, he we didn't have epilepsy, but we had a lot of sort of grew up around seizures and, and that experience. And so I have a slight bit of uh, experience and, and, and sort of, uh, yeah, life knowledge of what it's like to, to walk a mile in your guys' shoes. And I would say it's, um, I'm just honored to, to get to be a part of fundraising for the foundation, for people to advocate 
for you guys. So um, we're just gonna have fun, play some songs. You hear the pitter patter of feet above my head. I have three young children. My wife is trying to corral them right now to go to sleep, which is uh, these longer uh, spring days. It's more and more difficult. So we'll just pretend like it's a bass drum. Um, so there you go. And uh, as we go along, feel free to post any questions. I can see them now on this page. And um, if you have questions of any sort, uh, sort of later on, I'm gonna plug this thing in actually. Let's see, Let's see if I can do that, hold on. We had a, a technical problem and I'm just solving it. So um, if you have questions about anything music related or whatever you wanna talk about, I'll do a little Q&A a little later, so. This is a song called American Beauty. Uh, it's a song that was um, uh, used in this really uh, emotional Dick Sporting Goods commercial when I had a one-year-old daughter, and I ended up uh, catching a few tears about it myself. So if you don't like the song, uh, I don't really care because I like it a lot, but I hope you do like it. It's called American Beauty. She was a good companion, eyes like the Grand Canyon. She was an American beauty. She was a long goodbye. She was the best style of by. She was an American beauty. With a wayfarer's on in the summer sun, her touch felt like a loaded gun. Wish I had held her longer Wish I had held her long A gorgeous vagabond She was sweet but she was strong She was She was deja vu, she was a catch-22 She was an American beauty Her blue eyes shine in the summer sun Her kiss felt like a loaded gun Wish I had held her longer I wish I had held her longer Goodbye came like the morning sun She fired shots from a loaded gun Wish I had held her longer I Wish I had held her long. She was a good companion Eyes like the Grand Canyon a donate link um, I think it's if you scroll up there um, I was gonna post it on there myself but my computer was acting up so I'm on my iPad which didn't give me the option so I'm sure some of you out there watching have kids this is a song for all the folks with kids out there this is uh, quarantine has been certainly an interesting time as far as uh, being a parent goes sort of non-stop um, you know chaos and wrangling I have this mustache right now because of my kids my seven-year-old daughter, I, I usually have a big beard. I've had it for about 10 years. And uh, I, uh, my, my, my daughter um, asked to see my, my mustache and then asked me to keep it. So as long as we're, you know, in strange times, might as well do strange things. All right, this is a song called See the World. I was 
dream shell silver steam while you fell asleep thinking about cosmic generosity. It's a mystery. You roar like a lion, sleep like a lamb, watching your diaphragm, breathing in and out, dancing through the clouds. Dead in the middle. So this is a song about family. Uh, uh, it's called Family. Really, this.
time with our families right now out there in stay at home zone. Uh, this is a song that was sort of uh, a uh, radio single for us last year. It's our highest uh, highest song. It went up to top 20 on the Americana, I mean, uh, the adult contemporary chart. So it's called End of the World. It's kind of a tongue in cheek song. It goes like this. Sometimes I am afraid to die, my flesh and bones won't testify. My enemies and friends share the same residence. Don't eulogize on my behalf, I'm a long way from my epitaph. I'm only getting started on this lost highway. I am brave and I am not. putting our three kids to bed or trying to put them to bed it's sort of a, at best an attempt but um usually we tag team so she's flying solo tonight as i'm here with you guys but uh we've been doing this thing called kitchen covers where basically every night we play a cover and we've done uh we did 41 nights straight and now we've been doing we're doing three a week and we've done i think about 50 of them so uh this is um one of the songs we did this is one of my favorite artists uh uh, Mr. Tom Petty. So this is a Tom Petty song for all you guys here at the Epilepsy Foundation. I do want to encourage you, this is a fundraiser, so please uh, check out the link there in the comments. Uh, Donate.epilepsy.com backslash Drew2020. That's me. The year is 2020. All right, Tom Petty. Here we go.
Concerts. One of my favorite concerts I ever went to was uh, Tom Petty. I saw him at Red Rocks uh, about four months before he passed away, and that uh, was my 35th birthday. A bunch of friends. We had a good time. I'm sure you miss concerts too if you're a concert goer. But you got one here in your living room or wherever you're sitting. It's a song called Avalanche. Like the glass might break Like something's changing And it's tearing down the barricade Been a fool with my heart Been a fool with my red Lost in the wilderness, you were a revelation. I remember the first time I saw your face. Memory, a photograph, time cannot erase. I 
We've been a touring band now for almost 15 years, making a living at it, which is pinch myself often. Just grateful for that. Getting to do something you love for a living is certainly a, a, a gift. But it, it came pretty hard. It didn't come easy. We, we spent about eight years in a van and trailer touring around the country trying to convince people to come hear us play. And uh, this song is really the one that sort of kind of put, helped us get off, uh, get off that sort of wavelength and kind of into some real venues and stuff like that so um, after I play this song uh, we'll do a little bit of a Q&A if you want to if you don't have any questions I'll just talk for a minute then I'll play a few more songs I, uh, I'll i just look at them in the comment section so put them in the comment section I saw a couple already but um, after this song we'll have a little conversation for a minute and I'll play a couple more and uh, yeah this song is called Live Forever and uh, it goes like this <laughs> Forever 
take a few questions here um, for maybe five minutes or so. Um, all right, let me see if I can get this thing to work here. Okay. All right. Where are we go? Okay. Drew, who are your musical influences? Uh, there's so many of them. I mean, you know, I think I grew up in the, uh, in sort of the uh, mid nineties. So I was, when I, as a kid, I was listening to a lot of Radiohead and Pearl Jam and Nirvana and uh, you know, kind of whatever was on the radio. But I grew up in Memphis, and so I was sort of exposed to a lot of soul music, Stax Records, Al Green, etc. But really fell in love with the songwriter thing when I went to college. I got really into Van Morrison and David Gray, and uh, that sort of, you know, music is cool because it's sort of you open up one door and then it takes you down another path, you know, into another... Uh, you know, you open up the Springsteen door and then it takes you into the Dylan door and then it takes you to the Woody Guthrie door and it takes you to the Lead Belly door and, and and so on and so forth. So I love that about music. So I've got I don't know how many records I have, but it's definitely in the in the uh in the probably over a thousand. And then you know, listen to music all the time, Spotify. It's amazing. There's this young woman I listen, listen to a lot right now, her name's Madison Cunningham. She's really great. She kinda reminds me of like a Joni Mitchell, Jeff Buckley love child. So uh, but then other things are, are influences too that aren't even music, like uh, John Steinbeck is a big influence on my work. Um, so yeah, I love this. Elizabeth asks, I'm having a baby next month. Any parenting advice? Well, I have three. I'm not sure I'm good at it or not, but they're all alive. They seem to be mostly happy. Um, I would say my best parenting advice is Give yourself a lot of grace because you're going to fail at it a lot and you're going to feel it's easy to beat yourself up. Just remember that you're learning it as you go. Every kid is different. Sometimes, you know, people have these, you know, you got to do it this way and give it a try. If it works, great. If it doesn't, it's probably not necessarily your fault. The kids, Every kid is different. I've learned that with three that, you know, something that worked with the older, oldest one doesn't necessarily work with the uh, with the younger ones. But... I think they like that. I'll tell you one thing I, I know about kids. They love like one-on-one -on -one time with their parents, you know, once they get a little older, once they get to be about 18 months, um, which is a lot of fun. So, um, all right, if there's not any more questions, I'll, uh, I'll just play another, another song. That's, that's the only way to do. Um, Alan and Jake are having a little Wisconsin hang over here. Love that. Love Wisconsin. I play in Madison a lot. Love that town. Uh, how about you guys? How are y'all doing? Somebody, y'all, y'all post some things. Tell me about where everybody's from. Seen, I've seen Wisconsin and Iowa. Where else you guys post on this, uh, on these comments? I'd love to see, uh, where you, where everybody's tuning in from. So, uh, I'll play another song and if there's any more sort of questions or comments, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll engage them. So don't forget to donate right here at the bottom, donate.epilepsy.com backslash Drew2020. Elizabeth is in Maryland. Or what part of Maryland? Do you like Baltimore? Out on the, uh, what's that? What's the area over on the other side of the bay? Duval, Washington. All right, Christine, thanks for thanks for joining us. I, I, where is Duval? Is that near Seattle? Or is that out, out somewhere else? Um, Oregon. All right, Kristen. I love Oregon. Man, what a beautiful place. So, so is Washington. Uh, Lanham, not too far from D.C. All right, cool. Very, very cool. All right, I'll play a song. Y'all keep tuning in, and I'll, I'll jump back in to say hello here in a minute. All right, let's see here. We tune up. All right. I got time for maybe two more songs. All right, somebody says, uh, love kitchen covers. What is your favorite song you love singing with your wife? Uh, there's been so many we've done singing together, a lot of fun, but I think that Edward Sharp song, Home, was a really, really fun one. And then uh, 
we did Louis Armstrong's Wonderful World, and that one was really, really fun to sing to, especially kind of in the in the current moment, you know. So, um, I want to end on a, a song called Dragon. So I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a song called What Would I Do Without You. Hello, Phoenix, and hello, California, of two other great places. Get a little warm in Phoenix about now, though, isn't it? I went to Phoenix in the summer one time. It was like 120 degrees. But I know it's great in the winter. Alright, this is called What Would I Do Without You? Sometimes I wake up with the sadness and other days it feels like madness so what would I do without you? The colors turn to shades of gray with the weight of the world at the end of the day what would I do without you? A decade goes by without a war there's still a kindness in your eyes Amidst the questions and the worries A peace of mind always takes me by surprise Like I'm walking with eyes as blind as a man without a lantern in a coal mine. What would I do without you? My imagination gets the best of me, and I'm trying to hide, but I'm lost at sea. What would I do without you? The difference between what I've said and Still standing by my side, a guilty soul and a worried mind. I would never make it if I was on my own. got the morning and I got midnight. You are patient. I'm always on time. Oh, what would I do without you? Well, you got your sunshine. I got rain clouds. You got hope. And I got my doubts. So oh, what would I do without you? Oh, what would I do without you? What would I do without you? All right. All right. I saw a couple of interesting things there while I was while I was playing. So Carl says, "I went to try out for The Voice, and I sang this song." Man, that is awesome. What an honor. Uh, how'd it go? I hope it went well. I heard those things can feel a little kind of weird sometimes, but I'm sure you said, I'm sure you sounded great. If I'd have been the judge, I would have turned around in my chair, I'm sure, especially because I knew it was my song. Um, question from the watch party from Amy. You mentioned Van Morrison. What is your favorite Van Morrison song? Or how about your favorite Van Morrison? So my favorite Van Morrison song is probably Into the Mystic. I remember when I was in college, I got to go, I had the great privilege of traveling in uh, Europe for a little bit. One of my best friends lived over there. For He went to college over there. And so I went to see him and, and we sat on the beach uh, out at, uh, what's that town? Nice, France. Stayed in a cheap hostel, like 10 euros a night. We spent another 10 euros on a cheap bottle of wine. We went out and sat uh, by the ocean 
and uh, with a boom box. This is pre uh, iPhones, etc. So sat there by the ocean for hours listening to listening to uh, Van Morrison. So every time I hear Van Morrison, it takes me back to that place. I love that about music, how it can kind of take you back in time to a certain moment, to a certain memory, a certain stage of your life. And uh, I just want to say thanks for letting me in tonight to, to this community. I, uh, again, um, don't have a lot of personal experience with uh, epilepsy, but I do have personal experience with um, seizures. I had a, a brother who was uh, had some special needs, and he, he fought seizures. Um, and it was always a, you know, it's a scary thing you guys have to walk through. And I'm honored to, to advocate and be a part of uh, making some folks aware of of what you guys are up against and, and hopefully uh, um, be a part of uh, some, some good news in your direction. So hopefully uh, you guys are watching can donate. Uh, one more time, you can donate to uh, donate.epilepsy.com, Drew2020, that's me, Drew. I usually don't have this heinous mustache. Again, I apologize for that. Um, my kids wanted me to have a mustache, so that's what they get. Uh, I'm going to play one more song for you guys. Again, I just want to say thanks for having me. This is a song, uh, it's a title track of my latest record. It's a song about overcoming and uh, trying hard things. And uh, we're all trying hard things right now in this season. So um, this is my Fare Thee Well song. Climbing a mountain, sleep in the moonlight. The ghost of my grandpa came to me in a dream. The stars hung above us. He started singing this chorus. He laughed loud as heaven and said this to me. Stop spending all your money on forgiveness of sins. Today is all you promised. No trouble with tomorrow. Faded into the forest, proudly singing this hymn. Take a few chances, feel worthy romances. Go swimming in the ocean on New Year's Day. Foundation for having me. It's been an honor and I hope you guys 
have a great weekend and uh we'll see you next time and uh next time i'll see if i can get the kids down earlier and have ellie come sing with me but she is in the midst of all that chaos so again thank you guys so much i'll see you next time take care